Meanwhile, House lawmakers are meeting at the State House right now following the release of today's UHIP assessment. I with this news reporter Jared Klein joins us live with the latest. Jared. Shannon, we are waiting for House members to get off the floor of the House to go into the committee room to begin this oversight committee hearing on UHIP front and center. As Susan mentioned, this new report out tonight detailing the backlog, the problems, Deloitte's construction of this troubled system. Now, two men will be fielding lawmakers potentially hot questions for the first time in their new roles. Eric Bean, a man Susan mentioned, acting Department of Human Services director, and Ken Brindamore, the new UHIP IT manager, both filling the positions of people who resigned in the wake of these large scale malfunctions. Now, House Oversight Committee Chair Patricia Serpa, she has expressed her clear displeasure in this room once before. It will be interesting what she and others have to say about some of the numbers and the conclusions and assessments in this new report. One fact we brought you at five, and I just want to touch on it, and there are many others, Medicaid verification, something that needs to take place when something either comes on board with coverage or their coverage is terminated. There are 14 15,000 of those verifications pending, and the report estimates about 11,000 are likely at least 30 days overdue. One of many assessments and estimates in this new report. So, again, we're waiting on the committee room to fill. For now, live at the State House Providence Mobile Newsroom, Jared Planter, Eyewitness News.